guys, we're back to another episode of Junior Chef TV. Today we're going to be making bog level. Um, no, it's starting again. Like, I have to say, like, bog level or whatever. Hey guys, it's Persia, back to another episode of Junior Chef TV. Today we're going to be making bog level. Now, I know I've made it, made it in a previous video, but this is a new technique and I've improved the recipe, so I think it's going to be great for you guys. So let's get on to the video. So you're going to be need to melt some butter. I have 125 grams of melted butter. I think this is going to be enough, but if it's not, I'll just melt some more butter. So I start off with 125 grams of butter. And then I have about 200 grams of walnuts that are like really finely thin. I just use like my processor to finely grate these, but and if I need more walnuts, I will obviously um, shred some more, like grate some more walnuts, and I just have a Oh, you need a long um, wooden, like, it doesn't, it's preferably not with this hump in it, but this is all I have. Um, with, it's like supposed to be straight and skinny, and we need just a dish, and let's get on to it. Oh, you need pillow pastry as well, and like a wet, um, damp towel. So I have two sheets of phyllo here, really thin sheets, and I put the rest in a damp towel because it will dry out, and that is not what you want. So. I have two sheets right now of filler, so I'm going to quickly take one off. They're very delicate, so be careful. And I'm going to brush, and I've washed my bench, and now I'm going to brush my the surface with a bit of melted butter. Alright okay, guys, so I also added a little bit of cinnamon sugar to my walnuts, because I don't have cinnamon, but I had cinnamon sugar, so that would have worked too. So just, if you have some cinnamon, add a little bit of cinnamon, like a tablespoon or something. Now I have one layer of butter, and now what I'm going to do is add a little bit, not too much walnuts, just basically just a little bit of walnuts, just to cover, just a bit, and then we're going to roll it up. Alright guys, so now this is different to a lot of other bog levels that you see, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll over the rolling pin like this, just really nice and tightly roll it over. And now I'm going to get my, my sheet of um, filication just coated just with butter this time. Now I have my rolled up um, um, butter and walnut and now I just have my butter and I'm just going to roll that over like we did for the other one. Make sure it's nice and tight. Alright guys, now th I've never done this before so it's a bit nerve wracking but I'm going to squeeze the feeler and I'm going to put it into here. See how it goes. Alright, so from two ends you squeeze it in and then there's my dish. And then what I'm doing is I'm just going one way like this, and then it just falls right in. Boom! Like so. Now you repeat that over and over and over until you have all your uh, pastries in your pastry. Made a whole tray. 
we needed to um we needed to um put more uh crush more walnuts but that was the only thing that we need to add and we have to melt a little bit more butter for the top but other than that everything was fine okay so i just brushed the tops of all of these now i'm going to put it into a preheated oven at 180 and it's just going to cook until the um, tops are golden brown and then in the meantime we're going to make the syrup all right guys so we did make a little bit too much walnuts but that's okay because for the decoration we're just going to sprinkle this on and it'll be really nice i melted a little bit more butter and now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to brush the tops of these so that they become nice and caramelized i'm just going to brush all of them all right guys so i took these out of the oven and they're nice and golden brown on both sides and I just, it just looks so nice. And I have my syrup. I made this syrup. I had one and a half cups of sugar. And I mix that with one cup of water and a tablespoon of rose water and half a teaspoon of, um, I mean, half a tablespoon of lemon juice. And I just simmered, boiled that down until it was, um, there was no sugar left, like it's dissolved. And I used brown sugar because we did like, a, like raw sugar because we didn't have white sugar. But it doesn't make a difference and it was really good and I just boiled this to a no sugar with there and it's warm. These both of these are warm, they're not like hot, so that's something that you need to keep in mind. I have a really sharp knife and I don't want to be eating them this big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut them all in half. Okay, so I've cut them into four, so now they're little, little um, pieces, and this is what it looks like on the inside, you can see, and that's just little pieces, and now what I'm going to do is I have a ladle and I have my syrup, and now what I'm just going to do is just smother the syrup all over, get every bit. Alright guys, so the leftover walnuts that um, were left over from the, um, the actual bottom level, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit over the top end because it's the sugar syrup, it's just going to make it stick and now what I'm going to do is probably leave it for like 10 minutes, let all of the syrup soak in and it's going to be really delicious. Alright guys, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to make and it was really easy. So I hope you all try this out and comment down below if you do and what you want me to make next. Hope you like and subscribe. Yep, just comment down below and um, stay tuned for our next really nice video. Bye. <laughs>